Vintage Power Hour with Winnie. Um, I am a vintage specialist and in in about an hour and a half's time, I'll be showing you some top picks of vintage finds. We've got some YSL, we've got some Chanel, uh, we have some jewellery and we have some great um, Chanel bags as well. And I think lots of people are after this, which is the Celine Vintage Macadam bag. Um, today moderating for me i've got the lovely rachel say hi to rachel hi rachel hi everyone <laughs> and um how it works if you the first time you've come on to our show it's very much an interactive show so as i am talking about the pieces i'll show you i'll be very transparent about the condition i'll give you some styling options i'll even give you some history about these pieces so it's very much an edutainment type of show and when we're ready the prices and the product will be pinned you'll see a floating image on your top right hand corner and all you need to do is just tap on those images we pin three at a time so um, it's very much an interactive dynamic show um, you, if you want to purchase those pieces um, you, you can shop in real time and just tap on those pieces the benefits of shopping during this live show is that all our customs and duties are covered during this live show uh, the only thing you have to pay is a small surcharge for shipping which is 10 pounds for Europe at uh, UK 50 15 pounds for Europe and 35 pounds for the rest of the world. And we all take all types of credit and debit cards, uh, as well as PayPal, and we offer something called Split It as well. So Split It is a great affordable way to um, split those luxury purchases from Luxury Promise in a three, six, nine, and 12 month. Most importantly, it's interest free. And most importantly, it's only available on credit cards. Uh, just a caveat to let you know that you need to have the full amount ready on your card and then split it will actually carve out into those monthly plans so let's get started i can see um we have lots of regulars we've got tam and anna we've got the satar sisters and i always uh, joke that i am the third satar sister i'm the or on their uh, honorary uh, older sister we've got nadia as well we've got here joe we've got diana we've got kel and uh who we also have uh anna as well so thank you very much for joining us this morning so let's get started um Let's do something really, really simple and fun. And I think would actually go well with what I'm wearing today. I've already had some nice comments about my jacket. Um, it is, this is AWC uh, 1223. Um, we, of course, love a vintage Chanel um, brooches. But when it comes to Camellia Cassage brooches, uh, these are, they are, you know, they are... Chanel actually produces this every season in, def in different variations, in tweed, in leather, in all types of form. And, um, and of course, one of the reasons why Chanel produces the Camellia Corsage is because the Camellia was um, one of uh, Coco Chanel's favorite flowers. Um, known for its perfect symmetry, uh, known to be a, per a perennial, so it only grows in a certain period of time, and um, and it's also an everlasting beauty, uh, which Coco Chanel was very much attracted to. Uh, it was said that during her time with her affair with uh, Boy Capel, he sent her a, chem a camellia flowers every week. So it's got a quite a romantic. Um, to notion behind the story. Uh, this is a beautiful corsage. It's um, made of silk, silk flowers. These are all hand uh, cut silks and they're all being placed in symmetrical form um, and to create this beautiful sort of camellia with these little stamens inside. Um, it's set against a black uh, silk satin ribbon which is absolutely charming and I just love the fact it's kind of like it almost reminds me of a boater like the decorative item you see on a boater hat, which also um, points to uh, Chanel's millinery uh, background. So this little um, vintage camellia brooch um, is in great condition. It has the original pin back. It, it, was, it also has the, um, the uh, Chanel oval stamping just there. So this one looks great. Actually looks doesn't it look good with my jacket? It does. I actually wore this jacket because I knew, yeah, I knew that like, if this would look good, good with this. So um, you can wear it against the lapel of a, you know, of a black and white jacket. It just really elevates a rather plain jacket. Uh, let me just put this on so you can just see. 
what it looks like to scale on there. So it's a really, really beautiful little corsage. Uh, another way you can style this is if you have a hat, like if you're going to off to the races or you have a wedding to go to, this look great as a fascinator or you add onto a hat or you can actually pin it to the, um, your hair or I think it'll look really great if you could put your hair in a chignon and uh, you can attach that to the back of the hair as well. It is so, I think it is, you know, one little corsage um, can really elevate different looks and elevate the way your outfit. This is in great condition and this is only 350 pounds, which is 430 US dollars. Remember all your customs and duties are included. If you love this piece, all you need to do is just tap on the icon where you can see further imagery and read further information. Most importantly, you can add to cart. Uh, let me just show you the condition one more time. It's in great vintage condition, uh, hardly anywhere but lovely and I just love that beautiful flower. It looks like couture, something you see on a couture outfit. And all you need to do is just tap on that item just there. Talking about more little um, <clears throat> things, uh, one of my favorite things from this, um, what I cur curated this morning, is this beautiful sort of gripoir, rhinestone, resin, um, pin and this how stunning is this this is actually by it looks like chanel it could be ysl but it's actually by christian lacroix and this is a 1980s piece what i love about this piece is actually quite a large statement size brooch which is so so beautiful uh christian lacroix uh, uh was first launched in the sort of late 70s 1980s and he was actually known uh, as a french designer uh, was actually known for his opulence and theatrical uh, uh designs and um, you can see through this and um and of course in the late 90s early 2000 they were made popular or put on the map by the TV show, Absolutely Fabulous, which we, I remember watching as a teenager. And, um, and yeah, the, what was the sound? They said, La Croix, sweetie. La Croix, sweetie. So this is uh, uh, La Croix. La Croix actually folded their business, I think a couple of years ago, uh, which is a shame, but I think their vintage pieces are absolutely beautiful. Uh, La Croix's claim to fame was he actually designed the puffball skirt from the 80s. Do you remember the puffball skirts? Um, so that was one of his um, inventions. This is in a beautiful um, vintage 1980s brooch, uh, gilded on a gold base. It is signed Christian Lacroix just there, and the condition is beautiful. Let me just do a flip the script. I think this, this, this is really a, a beautiful work of art. Look at the scale, it's over, I would say it's about three, four inches long. So it's a real good statement size. Um, it has the grip stone inside and little leaves and it has these beautiful rhinestones and it has a lovely pin backing on a gold tone base and it has the Christian Lacroix signage just there. Overall, it's in fantastic condition. And let me just show you, it is just so, so pretty. And let me just put this against my jacket so you can see to scale what it looks like on me whoops maybe i'll just put that bit more funky but um yeah there you go so i just think that's a really really just absolutely elegant and i love the fact that it's a very large statement size has a strong pin backing, all in good working order. There is no tarnish from what I can see. And this highly collectible 1980s brooch from by Christian Lacroix is 485 pounds, which is 596 US dollars. It includes all your customs and duties. All you need to do is just tap on that above icon just there. I just wanna show you one more time. I mean, this can also be worn. Um, you can attach to your favorite necklace, a simple gold chain, and that would be beautiful. Just set slightly askew on the side, that beautiful little daisy. Another way is that you could put it on your hat. So like I say, if you're going off to a function or special event this summer or a wedding, this would look great in a hat or pinned to your hair as well. I just think that's an absolutely uh, must have. And you know, it's something that not 
everyone will have. That's the beauty of vintage. These are all one of a kind too. Yes, great idea, Ali. Uh, uh, it's a great idea. I think we could. You can even pin that on maybe like a satin fabric clutch or miniature or something very small. Imagine that against a black bag with a gold frame. How gorgeous would that be as well? That's a great styling idea. Thanks, Ali. Um, of course, one of things that uh, every girl should have is earrings. And we have back in stock a pair of YSL earrings. These are AWL 3358. Uh, includes a little dust cloth. And um, these are beautiful little YSL earrings. Gold tone base. And it has that beautiful little grindstone heart just there. And in great condition. 19 to 80, 80s piece. It's signed uh, YSL at the back. And these were absolutely, these are absolutely gorgeous. Let me just clip them on here so you can just see to scale what they look, look like on me. And I just love the fact that, that these have a YSL logo with the little heart. Hearts are all in season this year, this summer, uh, and with little rhinestones in the middle. And this is in great condition. I'll just do a flip so you can just see the condition of these earrings. That's better, isn't it? Look how lovely that is. No rhinestones missing, great condition. E uh, signed YSL, has a little comfort pads on there. Uh, YSL logo signed there. And these are uh, no tarnish, uh, no uh, gilding loss. They're absolutely beautiful. Let me just quickly put one on there. And they're both clip-on earrings. They actually feel very, very strong and secure when worn. They are really, really pretty. And they come, once again, they come with a YSL dust cloth. And these are circa 1980s. So these earrings are available for £235, which is... 289 US dollars. It's a fabulous price. All you need to do is just tap on that icon just there if you're wanting to purchase and all your customs and duties are included in the price. Leah saying, how, how oh, uh, yes, Leah, don't worry. Uh, the show I did with Colleen will be done today. So um, don't worry, just give us a uh, couple of hours. You, you'll get something in your inbox very soon. Have you seen the big YSL logo on the hobo bag? I think I have actually. Is it very similar? Yeah. yeah, is it similar to this YSL logo? No. But does it look cool? Wow. Oh, wow. I haven't seen that. I need to, I need to have a look at that, Zan. So there you go. <laughs> uh, other pieces. Let's do another fun and affordable piece. Um, everyone needs a little card holder. And this one's by Vintage Chanel. So this is Chanel with it crafted from paint and leather. It has the Emboss CZ logo, <clears throat> and it has one, two, uh, almost four, five uh, card holding options. Uh, this also has the Camellia flower on the back. Uh, this, the Camellia flowers do show some signs of wear. However, it's reflected in the very competitive pricing of this item. A lovely little card holder, you know, it's slim fitting, can fit in the back of the pocket. Um, nice and clean inside. It includes, it's just about C. It's a 12 series. And it's a one, two, three, four section. So you can put lots of things like your cash, probably notes really, and cards or business cards. And um, yeah, this is a good, nice little uh, card. It, 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 you always need a card holder or some sort of small leather good a great addition to your existing um, handbag hello Bev how are you so let me just show one more time oh, the overall paint paint and leather is in good condition doesn't feel sticky um, there's no scratches it's nice and clean the lining is in good condition there's no tears it is signed Chanel with lots of card holding sections and there is a serial sticker just there as well. And there's also a serial sticker just there. Sorry, 
uh, card holding section just there as well as there. And uh, it's a nice little slim fitting item that will fill at the back of your pocket or existing handbag. Uh, I just need to show you that there are some slight marks on the camellia embossed flowers just there. Uh. <laughs> yes, Sam does know a lot about fashion. And Sam also has an amazing handbag collection. <laughs> So this little Chanel CC Camellia Peyton wallet, it's only 125 pounds. Uh, this card holder is only 125 pounds, which is 100, uh, 153 US dollars. It includes all your customs and duties. All you need to do, is just tap on the above icon, well, it'll take you to the website where you can see further imagery. Most importantly, if you want to shop it, you can shop it di directly by adding to cart. There's that piece available just there. Moving on to something else. Um, did it sell? Yes! <laughs> I think the car holder has sold. Yeah. yeah. Oh, congratulations. I hope it's somebody on the show. If you want to if you want to be known, just let us know. If not, um, we totally understand. If you want to remain incognito but still fabulous. Congratulations and thank you very much. <laughs> so let's move on to uh, another great piece. Ah, let's do a blazer because I did the YSL earrings earlier. I should really team these up together. So everyone's commenting on my, on my blazer, but we actually have a YSL men's blazer. I know men's blazer, you're probably thinking why? Why would we wear, wear a men's blazer? But the trend is right now is for that oversized look for men's. And that boxy look is actually very flattering on women's frame. So we have this vintage YSL uh, blazer. This is in black, um, this is virgin wool. And it's 1980s. It says, what you sell on pour home. And I think it's a size 46. So um, EU 46, made in Italy, great condition has what one of the loveliest things about this jacket is it has all these amazing YSL gold tone buttons on here as well. I mean, the buttons alone, all those buttons are worth quite a bit and they could be actually uh, a pair of earrings themselves. So it's a, a double breasted blazer, even though it's a, um, a large scale on me, um, it can be worn uh, how I wear it, I roll up sleeves, so you have this kind of, con I like the contrasting white lining underneath actually. And it looks pretty chic actually. And um, for the price of this, I know the price of this blazer for ready to wear, it's actually a vintage steel. And I just think, the men's fitting is actually quite flattering. Yeah, it's Yeah, and I'm a, a UK 12, I'm about five foot three, yet I feel like it doesn't like um, overpower me or overwhelm me in terms of shape. And um, you know, it's and I think a blazer is a great coverall. If you don't know what to wear, you can wear it over a piece of, I think it's actually a good blanket service. So you can take this blazer and you could actually, um, you could wear that as well. Could, yeah. Well, I don't know if I would wear it. Yes, but, <laughs> but you um, yeah, Rachel said you could wear You know what? If you're petite enough, you, you so could. Because the buttons are all you in. You actually could. Because look, it doesn't pull when you fasten it. Could I wear it? It's a bit too it's short. short. Yeah, it's too short for <laughs> me. Short, but uh, you know what? You are right, though. There is a trend for like blazer type cocktail yes. dresses. Yeah. And uh, if you put that together, and if I wore black tights or leggings, I think you could wear this as a dress and you could actually cinch it in with a, 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 a statement uh, waist belt. Would be quite good as well. Um, and I mean, overall, the condition is very, very good. There's no um, holes or tears or moth, moth damage or anything alike. I've teamed it with my vintage Chanel necklace, so it looks quite. Actually, I might even get this jacket. I need all shoes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I, I told you everything I'm wearing is pre-owned. These are pre-owned. So, um, 
Yeah, so it's, you know, it's a great way to, I think like Blaze is a good way of updating an existing, like a good blanket service uh, type of um, base. And, you know, of course, it would look great with pinning a little cute uh, corsage, which is just available. If you, pick, if you ha uh, click on the handbag icon, this has uh, still available to purchase, so you can put that on there. Uh, or you can have the La Croix little brooch, which is just up there, just up right there. And I think being this is a YSL men's blazer, you need to team it up with a pair of earrings. So this looks quite chic as well. So this jacket is up. Oh, Sam. Sam said you could wear this with linen shorts too. That is such yeah, a wouldn't good... that be beautiful? That looks so, so cool. That's a great idea, Sam. And then you can wear like espadrilles in the summer. That, um, that's how, or like um, ancient Greek sandals, you know, the, the tea bar sandals. But you need a tan, I think. And a basket bag. Raffia basket bag. Tower. Yeah. How chic would that look? So this um, jacket, I think the price has gone up, is this oversized men's blazer. It is £325, which is $399 US dollars. Um, I think in terms of cost per wear, you'll find that this will be a seasonless piece. It will take you transition from spring to autumn to winter. And let me just show you the buttons. That's unrolled. The buttons are in good condition with uh, minimal signs of wear and the lining is also good as well, good clean condition as well. And what's nice is that it has two pockets, like the men's pocket, where they, you can put like your wallet, it's definitely big enough and deep enough to put your um, iPhone, iPhone in there or your cards. Actually, you could even put you could actually go hands-free because one pocket could be your wallet and one pocket could be your phone and then that's it that's all you need to do and you're ready to rock and roll so if you want to purchase this jacket this is 325 pounds which is 399 us dollars it's available there all you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon and if you want to get the matching wire cell vintage earrings if they're still available and these are only 225 pounds uh, and that is the second icon in the middle I'll keep this jacket on it looks quite cool so uh yeah let me move on what should i do let's do a handbag should we do a handbag yes yes uh let's do this handbag this is nice this actually reminds me of my very first vintage chanel find um, i have a, a handbag in my own personal collection very similar to this style um this actually um belongs to a really sweet lady who's in her 70s. I'm sure you've heard this story before. She actually came in earlier uh, last week. She came in with her own mother's um, Chanel collection. Uh, these are bags that she watched growing up in the 70s and 80s of her mum wearing the bags. And she's actually selling, she's personally selling those handbags on. She actually doesn't have any other family to pass them on to. And she's selling her handbags because she is going to buy herself a Birkin, Hermes Birkin 35, even in her 70s. And I just think it's such a nice, like she, you know, she was like, I'm not getting any younger. Uh, I can't go on cruises. I might as well put it on a handbag and um, goes to show you can never stop dreaming. So, <laughs> but she remembers her mum using this bag. This is her mum's everyday Chanel bag. Um, watching you know, she was a woman in her 20s by then watching her mum use this bag uh, her mum used this as everyday bag she remember collecting her from school and she had this very chic chanel bag this is a beautiful vintage bag um, it has a lovely chevron design and it's crafted from lambskin leather what's nice about this it has that little cc um, uh, zipper pull logo just there has that classic um, uh, Lampo uh, zip that we go by and recognize, which is one of the zips that uh, Chanel use. Uh, there are just light signs of wear along the corners of the bag, nice and clean along the bottom and light wear along the corner there. It has two external pockets. And I remember the lady who owned the bag, she said her mum found these very, very practical. It's a great way to put your tissues in there or any documents or envelopes or keys. Then there's two, there's one here and then there's one here. Um, 
It features the gold tone hardware. The gold tone has slightly faded, but shows no tarnish. Um, I think it's beautiful as is, but you can re-gild if you wish to. And inside, it's a zipper opening bag. Inside, it comes with um, a clean interior. And it, the cereal sticker is missing. Um, and uh, it's got an external pocket there. All our bags come with our own um, guarantee cards. And we also have a little pouch pocket there as well. So lots of room for storage. You can definitely put in your phone or anything you need on hand. All your daily essentials can definitely fit inside the bag. So the price, please. When you're ready. It is, this bag is only 900 pounds, just 900 pounds, which is a fantastic price. If you are um, looking to score your very first vintage Chanel bag, um, this is only 900 pounds, which is 1,107 US dollars. And um, it's in great condition. It is a pre-owned item. I would date this to circa early, uh, late 1980s. And if you want to purchase this, all you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon. Remember, uh, we include all your customs and duties. There's, there's no additional cost if you are shopping from outside the UK. And uh, let's have a quick look at some of the information. Oh, has the YSL earring sold? Yeah, it didn't get an Oh, that's but strange. That had oh, fantastic. Congratulations, C. Have you been looking? Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, I'm so pleased. Uh, Z, are you a first time viewer on this show? Because I haven't seen your name before, but I'm very pleased for you. I'm glad you found, we found your YSL earrings. Uh, I know a lot of people have been saying that. Nettie's saying the quality of current Chanel cannot compare to the vintage. Um, yes, I mean, that's why Vintage Collection is doing so well. I think not only in terms of quality, it's also the designs. The, I mean, this is probably nearly 40 years old, but to me, it's a timeless classic. Any woman, any age and any generation could use this bag. It's both stylish and practical, which is why we love vintage Chanel. So, uh, so that's available to purchase. <coughs> Let me just put those earrings away. Um, yeah, Jackie's actually seen this believer. Mm. Uh, sure. Somebody's asking about a pink blazer. You guys are got beady eyes. You can see all the way over there. Let me grab it for you. I hope it has a skew. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, it's not the empty Yeah. So we have this beautiful. <clears throat> Blazer. It's from 97 Spring Collection. It's a beautiful design. I love the little new row collar with a uh, fold over collar like this. And you can tell straight away that the fit is going to be amazing. Um, Chanel is very uh, fanatical about a fit of a black uh, of a jacket. So you know her little black jackets are iconic. Um, it's designed to be slim fitting. Is making sure that the, the arms are always inverted, uh, inserted uh, correctly. She made the underarm a bit tighter, so it kind of like pulls you in, gives you more structure as a woman to give you more better silhouette. And all these panels, of the way it's constructed, it is to flatter the shape of the existing woman. These, this jacket is beautiful, fully lined, has the original Chanel boutique. Um, has the label inside and it's inscribed 97p spring collection uh it, this uh has a beautiful sort of like bubblegum pink with the chanel um cc logo lining uh it has a little gold chain so the gold chain is actually designed to give structure and weight to the jacket so when it is just on the person it just drapes beautifully uh there is one little mark just here, just to let you know. Uh, it's a size EU40, so let me see if I can fit into this little crop jacket. It looks teeny. 
But Jeff is saying she's a size eight ten, so I'm sure it would fit. Ah, uh, yeah. So, is it Jackie? Here's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, Jackie. I'm um, saying she's an eight to ten. I think it will definitely fit you, for sure. If you're petite, I'm a twelve, so it fits me just to, just about. I can't button it up, but if you're an eight to ten, it'll definitely give you that lovely um, sort of tight fitted um, silhouette. It's actually a really beautiful jacket. It's um, sort of short, fairly cropped jacket, single breasted with one uh, Chanel button at the front, and I do like the, where the collar is structured like this so in terms of the sleeves it's got a nice fold over cuff right there and it looks nice there cute. Uh, in terms of price uh let me see if we have a price on this uh i if you send us a dm we will find out about the price of this jacket um but it has these beautiful Barbie pink buttons with the CC logos. So, yeah. Uh, um, Nish, this is actually my personal item. This is um, my, for my personal collection, so it's not for sale, I'm afraid. But we'll find something similar for future shows, so keep your eyes on this show. So if you're interested in jacket, jackets, please uh, email me at winnie at luxury promise and I will find out the price of this item for you. Right, let's move on to, uh, let's do this. I know on, lots of people love vintage Celine. Uh, Celine is, especially vintage Celine, is having a real comeback um, in the last couple of months I've seen. I think it's because anything in the primary model it always trickles down into the secondary model. So I know that uh, Celine, especially the Macadam or the Arc Triomphe design, which is being brought back by Heidi, Heidi, Heidi Semain, who is now the creative director at um, Celine. Um, it's made it very trendy, very on trend, very finger off the pulse of what we women love about design. Um, I would say this is in lovely vintage condition. This is a vintage, I would say, probably late 90s or early 2000 model. And it features the Macadam design. If you see the Macadam design, it has the C Celine little logo the, with the Triumph um, chain design. A Triumph chain design, uh, which became part of Celine's um, logo, um, was uh, actually introduced uh, in 1973. And the chain design was actually inspired by the iconic uh, Arc de Triomphe in Paris, where at the base of the, um, with the Arc, there are a little chain, like a, a chain garland, and that's where the chain design came from. However, this repeat motif didn't actually come about until around about early 2000, late 90s, uh, where, um, uh, well, the, the new creative director is, was none other than, back then, was Michael Kors. And he was inspired by the monogram design and he made this repeat motif design that we know as the Macadam design. So, um, yes, it was Michael Kors before he went on to be, um, forming his own label, but he was at Celine, early days of Celine as head of design uh, for a short period of time. So, yeah. Uh, whoa. So... Um, was Sam asking about the men's blazer? Yes. Yes, it's, it's like, warm. No, no, she was asking if you could wear it in the summer. Oh yeah, definitely. Because it's, um, it's a men's wool. You know, like men's tailoring or men's suits. So, um, it's almost like a virgin wool. So it's not a thick knitted wool. It's more like a, a woven wool. Um, and yeah, there it says 100% new wool, new wool. And generally, it's in great condition. It's almost like the fabric of men's trousers or men's suiting fabric, and it's fully lined as well. Hope that helps, Anne. So it feels like, yes, exactly. Uh, I wouldn't wear it as a jacket in the winter because I think it would be too thin, but in between seasons or light evening wear in the summer is perfect. Or in the winter, if you're going to wear this, you probably need a, 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 an, a, another additional jacket over the top. 
Um, so I would treat it as a lightweight jacket. I hope that helps. So back to the Mac and Dan design. This is a wonderful um, satchel style bag. It um, is in good condition with light wear towards the corners of the bag. Nice and clean along the bottom. Clean exterior, great condition hardware, gold tone hardware. And there's no color transfer along the back. And it has that handy little back pocket, which is fabulous. Um, it's a, a crossbody style satchel bag. So it has an adjustable buckle. I love the way that the buckle looks like a, a horse bit design just there. And I would wear this definitely as a crossbody style bag. So it's perfect as a crossbody style bag. So very practical, great for everyday use. You can definitely put in all your latest essentials such as your phone, your wallet, your makeup bag. You could even put a, a large iPad in there as well. So it has a little cosp, pop block closure. Oh, the YSL blazer. Oh, the YSL blazer sold. Oh, somebody bit me to it. Because actually I would have bought this after the show. Yeah. Because I was thinking, it actually looks really good. That's yeah, very good do. classic. Cost per wear, I think this is actually very good value. So let us know. Sam, did you buy it? Let us know. <laughs> so inside there is three separate compartments. It has a little zipper pocket, an internal pocket. Um, the lining is nice and clean. And, um, and it's got lots and lots of areas for storage. So very, very handy. Let me just show you the corners of the bag. Sophie, are you uh, tempted by this bag? This macadam design? Uh, wait till you see the price, because it's a, a fabulous price. Especially when we know a uh, brand new Celine is well over, more than triple what we're charging on this bag. So this bag, this vintage bag is 425 pounds, which is 522 US dollars. It includes all your customs and duties. And um, all you need to do, you know what to do, you just need to tap on that bottom icon to take you to cart and you can shop directly. And most importantly, like I said, if you're shopping from outside the UK, it also includes your customs and duties as well. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's Antoinette who snagged the YSL blazer. Oh, fantastic Antoinette. I'm sure it will look fabulous and please send me um, a private a DM on my Instagram at Winnie, like, uh, Winnie McGee underscore because I'd love to see how it looks on you, how you have styled it. So, yes. Uh, do you have any Hermes belt same size as you have on Winnie? Uh, I don't actually. I don't think we've got any comp. You know what? Next time I'm just going to wear all my stuff. <laughs> just, <laughs> I didn't realize you guys like my style. So, no, this is a vintage belt. I did buy this from Luxury Promise when I first joined two years ago. So, this was one of my first uh, purchases. But I'll let you know um, because we uh, I'll hunt down some Hermes H belts for you. So, don't worry, Jackie. <laughs> So uh, let's move on to another bag. I know we had lots of private messages when I posted this on my uh, it's on the vintage luxury promise Instagram. We have lots of people loving this vintage Chanel bag here. Uh, this is in fabulous condition. It's a, like a dual pocket bag, and it has that lovely CC logo just there. There is an exter external pocket there, and there is a handy back pocket there as well. So. Oh, hello, Cam. How are you? <laughs> oh, Cam's all the way from New Zealand. I just love the fact that we have reached with so many people from overseas. The Celine bag has sold. Oh, Celine bag has sold. Oh, this was another bag. I, I think I shot my own curation, but this was another bag I had my earmarked for. So congratulations. Let us know who bought this bag. Um, this is fantastic. I'm sure you will love this bag. Thank you very much. So this gorgeous lambskin Chanel bag is in fabulous condition. It's all original, um, hasn't been colored, re-dyed or retouched. And you can just see that beautiful buttery shine just there. Um, very, very minimal wear along the corners and the bottom of the bag. The back is also nice and clean, has incredible Gold tone hardware. The gold tone hardware is excellent with 24 karat gold gilding. And the bag is actually ideal to wear 
as a crossbody bag. It's slightly on the high side, but it does sit uh, comfortably. I'm about five foot three, and it's just below my chest, so it, it actually feels quite comfortable on. Or you can wear it as a shoulder bag, or you can use it, tuck in the strap, and you can use it as a clutch. So this bag has a pop lock closure, feels strong and secure, and it comes with a Chanel dust bag, and that beautiful white cotton bag that we love, and it's a lovely condition inside as well, and it has internal zip pocket as well. And it has its original series sticker, it's a one series, you could just about see there, it's a one series, so it's from 1989 to 91. Um, so no card but comes with its original serial sticker and it comes with a Chanel white cloth as well. So these white dust bags were produced and supplied by um, Chanel with all the bags sold during the late 80s, mid to eight, late uh, 80s to early 90s. And these little woolen bags were not only designed to, um, to basically store your bag but they're also another function. You can use it as a glove mitt so you put your hand inside and it's a great way to condition and, and, rub, and um, bring back the shine, especially on lambskin bags. So it has a dual um, purpose. So if you ever see these dust bags and you have a vintage Chanel collection, grab one if you can. They're actually very, very useful. So this black dual pocket Chanel vintage bag is available for £1,895, which is 2000 Black. black, yeah, it looks black to me. Um, you don't mind changing the copy? Yeah, it says black. Yeah, it is black. Kel, it's black. Um, let me let me do a flip the screen so you can just see the uh, the. It might just be this lighting. It might be this lighting because I'm in an odd position in our shop, so um, I'm right directly under the light. So. Oh yeah, definitely black. Yes, it's 1989 to 91, Sophie. Thank you. Yes, and it comes with a serial sticker and uh, no card but dust bag included the condition is amazing and the color is black and you can wear it as a crossover for sure and i think the price point i've been very very good on this price point it's a fantastic price to get uh, almost like a wok style or a crossbody camera style bag for vintage chanel for less than two thousand pounds um, and for this condition, it is an amazing price. It's my winning winner price on a Thursday morning, just before payday. <laughs> and I love that CC logo inside as well. And the condition is fabulous. I agree, uh, Beverly. Has a magnetic pop lock closure, comes with a dust bag, serial sticker, one series. Let me just show you the serial sticker, uh, which is just there. And beautiful so if you want to shop this item all you need to do is just tap on that bottom bottom icon just there it'll take you to uh, to over to our website oh god i've just found something it comes with a card Yay. yes even better value for money um obviously it's nicer we do when it comes to valuing pieces it does help that it, it comes full set with a serial sticker card and dust bag and of course, box as well, and the booklet that would be even better. So when you are buying brand new Chanel right now, keep everything, because um, it would add your value uh, later on if you wish to sell. Uh, in terms of collecting, uh, vintage pieces don't always have the card. It's just the way that thing, you know, the way people sort of mislay them and stuff. However, when it comes to vintage, um, vintage collecting, um, especially for Chanel, um, people always ask, do you, you know, I want the card as well. Out of the two, serial sticker or card, I prefer to have the serial sticker. The serial sticker is the internal sticker and it's part, it's for life with the bag. However, if a bag, especially early, early pre-serialized bags, don't always have a sticker. So you just look at the general condition of the bag. Hopefully, that, that's my little advice when it comes to um, if, um, investing in vintage Chanel. So. Yes, so uh, if you want to purchase this item, all you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon. It will take you to the website where you can see further imagery and read the information on this bag. And 
Uh, most importantly, it, all your customs and duties are included in the price as well. Oh, Cam say, I'm tempted to replace my current camera bag with this. I think if you love your camera bag and you want a, a, a different style but love the same function of a camera bag, Cam, this is the bag for you. Considering the age and the condition of this bag, and it's less than £2,000, this is a great buy and a great investment piece. So I suggest this is a good, good buy. It is the same width as a camera bag, but it's just slightly more like a wallet on chain style. Very practical. Uh, you can definitely, ah, let me, I haven't got my faux 13 today, but I've got the case. This is an 11 and it can definitely fit in your um, latest iPhone in there. So that's, uh, in terms of practicality, I think this is actually a really, really good choice. So all you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon just there. So other practical bags um, I've got is this, a great um, hold all everyday bag. You can never go wrong with a Neverfull. And I've got this vintage Neverfull bag. This is AWL 3154. And this is the MM size. And what's nice about this bag, it is in the Danier print but in the colorway azure. And the reason why I chose this is because I think it's a great way, transitional bag. Now we're approaching into spring, summer. This is a great everyday bag. It could be a good holiday bag, beach bag. Um, it's crafted from a monogram canvas, coated canvas in that beautiful azure colorway in that gray tone, checkerboard design against uh, an ecru or um, off-white colorway. Uh, it is finished with gold tone hardware and um, the Neverfull has these cinched in um, ties so you can like cinch it in to make it smaller and compact or you can adjust it if you've got more bulkier items inside the bag. It has um, the fichette uh, leather trim and this is a natural undyed cowhide leather and it has two handles and the handles just show light signs of use, just light, um, some darkening patina just there. This is a really, really good MM size bag. So um, Neverfall comes in PM, MM and GM, and this is the medium size MM size. And uh, against me, I think this is actually a very good um, everyday use bag, and it will definitely fit a 13 um, inch MacBook Air uh, laptop. So great work bag as well. Uh, the bag um, does is a pre-owned item and it does have some light signs of use. Let me just get that open right now for you. Just light signs of use inside. There is some has been pre-owned and used. And it has an internal pocket, zipper pocket just there as well. And it's Chanel bag. Oh, the Chanel bag as well. Congratulations. Um, was it Cam in New Zealand? I hope so. Because Cam has amazing, I'm obsessed with her stars. I always um, see what she wears every morning on her Instagram. So Cam, I hope it's you. If not, congratulations to the person who just bought this bag. Thank you. So the Neverfall, how many people own a Neverfall? Uh, let's just have a little vote. I actually have two and I, out of all my bags, they're the two bags I always carry every day. So, hope you can see me. It seems like my connection is a little bit. Uh, so, the Damier Neverfull is £875, which is uh, US dollars If you want to purchase this bag, all you need to do is tap on that bottom icon just there. Uh, I know that retail now, these are around about the £1,600 mark, so you're making a 50, almost a 50% saving. Let me just show you the corners of the bag. Uh, corners actually show very minimal wear. Nice and clean along the bottom. And minimal wear along. There's hardly any scuffing. And the fabric's not poking through. You know, sometimes some vintage ones where they've been really, really used, you see the internal lining pop popping through. Yes, you can carry bricks in these bags. Apparently, they can carry up to 15 kilos. I've not personally tried it, 
but I feel like I carry 15 kilos every day. I don't know what I carry in my bag. I've got everything in my bag. Um, so yeah, so 875 pounds, which is just over a thousand US dollars, including all your customs and duties uh, included in the final price as well. And all you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon just there. Uh, another, let's go back and do some fun pieces. We've got AWC 1204. We've got this fabulous Givenchy heart brooch. And I just think this is absolutely a fun piece. You can see the scale, how big this piece is. Uh, it's a little, almost like a heart locket with a little top handle. Gold tone with the GG logo. Uh, GG logo that um, Givenchy is known for and it has a pin backing just there. What's nice about this piece, uh, it's uh, gilded in um, gold, 24 karat gold gilding and it has that uh, stamped Givenchy logo in there. I would say this is a 1980s piece. It's a good statement so I can see to scale on my hand how big this piece is and it's the sort of piece that look great on the lapel of a jacket. So let me just grab my jacket you can see can wear it as a um, on the lapel of a jacket it's so cute uh, at the moment Jackie the only earrings that we had they're all clip on I'm, I'm afraid um, we don't have any ones for pierced ears oh, sorry see that I don't have anything for you Jackie every time you ask me I'm like it's either sold out or we don't have it in stock <laughs> so this is a lovely little um, statement brooch very very cute now this brooch can also be worn as a pendant um, which i think is another fun way of getting multiple uses out of this one little fun brooch um, i'm going to take one of our chains this is the uh, open lock chain the open clasp chain which we have these are these chains um, are chains that are exclusive to Luxury Promise. Um, they're designed to put any um, of your favourite um, padlocks. We sell vintage Louis Vuitton padlocks separately at £68 or any other charm that you want to attach. And they have two open lock, um, open lobster clasps so you can attach it to anything. They also make a great um, a, a clasp for putting in uh, for attaching a pochette inside a bag or if you have a pochette and it's missing a strap you can attach it to the additional D rings and this could come a little handbag strap as well what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this strap this chain strap these chains are um, gilded in uh, 18 karat gold they're hyperallergenic and they do not tarnish and they also come with our luxury promise um, tags as well which says luxury promise london on them and these i think are roughly for 35 pounds each so i think what do you think rachel that's so cool isn't that cool so you can already transform a brooch just from one use to a different use as a little pendant as well i've just attached it you can also attach it onto any horizontal pin backing brooches like especially for chanel brooches you can use it as a pendant style as well so really really um oh lots of questions here so this givenchy uh heart brooch is uh, only 195 pounds which is 239 us dollars so yeah which is a fantastic price let me quickly do the condition report on this because there is just need to bring to your attention there is a light scratch along the edge of the heart can you just see there's a light scratch here but the main brooch is actually in great condition lovely pin backing you can see it's signed Chanel, uh, signed Givenchy, sorry, pardon me. And there's a lovely inside. Okay. So, uh, to see the Chanel item on the hanger, which was, oh, let's do the scarves. Is that what you mean, Beverly? Let me do scarves now. Uh, let me just quickly look at some of the questions. Yes, so if you want to purchase this 
um, Givenchy 1980s brooch. All you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon. It's only £195, which is uh, 239 US dollars, which is just there. Let me just quickly show our friends on Instagram this piece. I'm currently showing this piece. It's a 1980 Givenchy heart locket style brooch. And I've attached it to one of our existing chains, which we sell separately at £35. So you can wear it both as a brooch as well as a pendant. If you want to see more items like this, head over in the pinned comment to the luxurypromise.com live show page. So let's do the scarves. Let's do this first scarf. We love a Chanel scarf. This is AWL3617. Um, this is, oh, whoever put this on a hanger, very nice, the way they've done this. Beautiful, oh, thank you, Nikos. Um, this is in lovely condition. Let me just show this scarf when I open it up. It has the word, hold on, Chanel in the middle. So what's fun about this, this is like a 1990s um, silk scarf. Uh, it has this slight sort of jacquard little dot design in the mo motif design woven within the fabric. It has these beautiful um, CC logo borders throughout in contrasting red and yellow and turquoise. So it's really joyful and colourful. Uh, it has a navy base and it has the Chanel logo on the main body of the scarf. The scarf is 100% silk. Uh, Condition-wise, I cannot see any makeup stains. There's no wear or tear or any moth damage. It's being well cared for and looked after. It's 100% silk, made in Italy, has its original sewing labels just there. And it, of course, it's signed Chanel just there. One of the things you look for when looking for authentic scarves is quality designer scarves should always have uh, should always um, be made of fine fabric like 100% silk or 100% cashmere or cashmere silk blend. And this one has a beautiful hand rolled hem. So these are the way a scarf is finished should be hand rolled. So these are tiny hand rolled just to make sure that the edging is finished nicely. And the stitching is all done by hand. You can tell by where the way you can tell it's by hand because of the hand tacking along the side and the way it should be rolled it should be away from the main body of the print so it could be tucked in against the back body of the print so this is a 90 by 90 centimeter scarf it's a silk square scarf and lots of ways you can wear this i like to fold them in, in towards a triangle and um, they look great draped along the neck and they're actually very warm they're very very warm um, or you can wear it bandana style, like so. As you can see, as you can see that CC logo is showcased. Or if you're in the summer and you want to take the heat away from your head, especially if you've got dark hair like me, this also makes a great little headscarf as well. So lots and lots of ways. And a lot of my colleagues, my uh, lots of my, a lot of our young colleagues, nothing. Uh, they wear like to wear these as a little bandeau style bag, a uh, bandeau style um, against their swim top. So if you're by the beach and you just need a bit quick cover up, it's also handy as well. And I think there is a way you can wear this. I've seen it. You can drape this around the neck like this too. So as a square, you tie two corners like so. And it could be like a halter neck top. And then you take the edges there and you can halter neck there as well. So lots of, one bit of fabric, lots of different ways of wearing this scarf. So the price of this, when you're ready, um, it is 350 pounds, which is 430 US dollars. It's a fabulous scarf, wonderful colors. Just love those, um, colors very 90s those bright primary colors uh, really really evokes the period of the 90s uh, you, all you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon uh, it the price includes all your customs and duties and um, yes yeah, so just tap on that bottom icon just there <laughs> 
So I will show you another scarf we have. So if you love scarves, um, I actually personally love scarves. I've got a cupboard full of scarves. I love all. I'm, I actually collect another collection of my pashmina scarves. I love pashmina scarves. Uh, before I started my journey into the pre-love work, my job was a de textile designer. So we used to design for a lot of scarf companies, especially in print and embroidery. So I think scarves are like a blank wearable canvas and you can put whatever design on that blank canvas. And it's a great way to update your, you know, you know your existing outfit. So this is a beautiful um, pale peach or pale pink um, camellia floral scarf. It's got camellias. It almost looks like peonies as well, like large peony flowers. Peonies are my favorite flowers and I noticed they are available to purchase right now. It's only a short period of time where you can buy peony flowers. Because um, yeah, because we're approaching end of March, end of May, beginning of June. So um, this is a beautiful pale pink flower uh, scarf. It's signed a uh, Chanel. Just with that. This fabric is slightly different. Can you see it has a sheen? This is called silk satin. So this is a silk satin. The other one was like a silk twill. So this is a silk satin. Um, lovely condition, 100% silk, has its original sew-in labels and it says um, it's dry clean only and made in Italy. Most of uh, Chanel scarves are actually made in Italy and it has, of course, what you're looking for are the hand rolled hems, especially for authentic designer scarves. So this camellia floral motif scarf is uh, 335 pounds, which is 412 US dollars. Uh, includes all your customs and duties. I think it's a fabulous price. It makes a great giftable item. And condition-wise, it's fantastic. No makeup stains, lovely and clean. There are no tears to it, no wear other obvious signs of wear. Uh, it is signed Chanel. Oh, where was it? Any more vintage Chanel jewellery? Yes, we will have some coming up. Let's, ooh, we've only got a few bits. Do we have time? Half an hour? Uh, maybe one more. One more, okay. Let's do this um, shamrock design um, earring. We have this ASL 2446. It comes with its original box. And this is the uh, Chanel uh, uh, four leaf clover shamrock earring with the crystals inside it's absolutely charming absolutely very very charming indeed uh, it is signed Chanel it's just right at the bottom comes with the original box what's nice about this, this is like a matte gold matte gold with the rhinestones matte gold finish and in terms of size it's around about two centimeters by two centimeters let me just put them on for you so you can see to scale uh, so they're not overpowering, they're a good uh, for everyday wear. And, oh, Diana, sure, yeah, so I forgot to do the Diana. Yeah, yeah we'll do that now next before we finish up. Uh, so lovely condition, uh, no, would you say these or the hearts are better investments or rarer to get your hands on? Um, anything that is a symbol of Chanel is always good good value for money like it's good collector's piece anything to do with hearts shamrock uh wheat sheaf what else uh the cc turnstile lock um they're all because they're icons of chanel they're all they're highly recognizable and very collectible so i would suggest all these type of type of pieces are great uh you can see how wonderful these condition are this is a matte gold finish with all the original rhinestones in place so price please when you're ready These are very, very cute. And let me just show you. So these little uh, Strass Clover style earrings are £595, which is 731 US dollars. And they include the uh, box as well. And all you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon just there. Now, let me move on to the Diana bag. Thank you, Satar Sisters. I nearly forgot. This is actually my hero piece mm -hmm. of today's collection. Ah just seen something so um this is the diana flat bag 
Uh, this is um, a 10 inch lambskin um, Diana flat bag. Now the Diana bag was actually uh, produced during the period of 1989 to 1995. So for around about six years, it was in production and then they were discontinued. The reason why we call these the Diana bag is because the late Princess Diana, um, this was her personal favorite bag. She had a, had a black, I think she had a black as well as a white version as well. And um, it was one of her uh, most publicly used bag on her public functions. So the, um, the name kind of, um, she, her, the bag became synonymous with her name. In 2015, Karl Lagerfeld, as homage to Dark Prince of Diana, brought back this design. So the Diana flat bag was like the alternative to a more casual version of the classic flat bag. This is a single flat bag uh, with the gold tone hardware. It's actually designed to be worn over the shoulder like so, but it's actually long enough to be worn crossbody as well. Um, this one's, what's nice about this one, this is beige. So a lot of times when we get these Diana bags, they're either black, we've had white before, uh, we've had, what else have we had? Um, I think we've had pink before, but I don't think we've had a beige version for a long, long time. So the Diana bag came in two sizes, uh, a 10 inch as well as a nine inch, just like the classic uh, iconic flat bag. So this is a 10 inch size. A crafted from lambskin leather, features the 24 karat gold gilding, has a long um, chain strap, which is ideal for wearing crossbody but style bag, and um, has just light wear towards the corners of the bag. Inside the bag uh, comes, uh, it's fairly, just light use, comes with its original serial sticker. Um, this is a two series, so, so it's from 90. Uh, 91 to 94. Uh, this bag also comes with the care booklet, the original care booklet. You guys know how much we love these care booklets. It really gives you tips on how to look after your bag. Also, it comes with its authenticity card as well. So uh, let me just check if it's a nine inch or 10 inch. Nine inch. Oh, sorry, pardon me. It's a nine inch bag, nine inch bag, sorry. So this is a smaller version there it is incredibly soft so this bag is four thousand five hundred pounds um which is five thousand three hundred and thirty five us dollars it includes all your customs and duties uh, if you like the look of this bag please just tap on that bottom icon just there and us a beige bag beige is the new black i think it's a nice neutral tone and you can definitely wear it as a crossbody style bag as well I think I've got one more. Let me just feature these earrings. Yeah, it's a uh, 19 minutes past. Yeah, yeah. This is, this, yeah, this is, yeah, this is a 24 minutes past, right? Finish. 20, 20 past. 20 past. Okay, okay. Right, just, I know we've got another meeting to go to, so let me just finish off these earrings, especially Cam from New Zealand, if you're on, I think this is very much your style and it's a good price point. These are vintage Chanel earrings with the daisy design. Um, I just love this piece. It's just fun and dynamic. It's just sort of off kilter from usual Chanel design. Large statement size, it's over an inch wide. Has a lovely pearl enamel faux pearl detail with a little black stone. They're clip-on, they're from collection 23. Uh, these are Victoire, Victoire de Castelnay pieces who designed from 84 all the way up until 92. And these are highly, highly collectible, fabulous condition, gold gilding, clip on back it. And let me just put them on because I just want to put them on. And I think it looks fun with what I'm wearing today. I think I might need to wear this outfit every day because it, everything goes with this outfit. It looks really, 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 really got on. Yeah, it just the suits. The the yeah, this just suits, right? Um, for those who know, who already have all the CCs and clovers and the wheat sheath charms, it's nice to actually own something. Um, you know it's Chanel, but it's just, you, no one can put, pinpoint what brand it is. So these are fabulous collectible pieces and they're a fabulous price at £795, which is $977. US dollars. Yes, sure. Let me just show you the back of this. It's like this. 
Christmas earring. Such a lovely piece. Any money would like to see the back of the Diana? Yes, sure. Um, okay. Uh, who wanted to see? Monica. 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 Um, I have noticed something at the back of the bag. There's a slight mark there. I'm going to see if that can be taken off. I've just noticed it just now. That wasn't there earlier this morning. But it looks like a, a cosmetic mark rather than a, a real stain. So that's the back of the bag. But otherwise, no other major wear. Okay. Thank you so much for joining. I had a fabulous time. It's been great. We've got a dash off to another meeting. But uh, join, uh, yes, join us with Jess at the Luxury Vault for amazing box fresh Hermes pieces at 2 p.m. BST time, as well as, what show is it tonight? Is it the Fashion Runway with Grace and uh, Sophie, I think, at, 4 p at 7 p.m.? Um, I think it's a runway show now? A week and Lima. Yeah, with Grace and Lima tonight at 7 p.m. So, thank you very much, and I will see you guys. Uh, if you love more vintage jewellery, I suggest you join Elena 101 Jewellery tomorrow at 10 a.m. I've seen her drop, it's incredible. Amazing Celine, amazing Gucci, amazing brands. Lots of stuff there is under watch at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.